Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I am here with the best CPUs of the month for October 2014. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. These CPUs are in no particular order, by the way. I don't rank them in a top five fashion. These are just my five favorites. Um, I think there's five on here. One, two, three. I guess I just chose four. Sure, let's go with it. For the first CPU, I'm with the AMD FX 8350. Um, it's clocked at 4 to 4.2 gigahertz, that's the base and boost clock. It's AM3+, Plus. Uh, it's got 8 cores, 8 megabytes of L3 cache, and 8 megabytes of L2 cache. That's a lot of L2 cache. Um, this is a good CPU overall if you just want to be gaming at, at 1080p at reasonable settings. And I know a lot of people say it, but, you know, it's, it's good for multi-threaded applications as well if you're not just going to be gaming, like, you know, if you want to live stream as well, since that could take a lot of multi-threaded power. Um, or editing, which obviously will use all of your threads, or, you know, just, I don't know, using Photoshop or whatever, whatever you want to do like that, um, more intensive activities outside of gaming will also be helped by these eight cores. So yeah, for the second CPU on the Intel Pentium G3258, this is a 3.2 gigahertz dual core processor, uh, the TDP is 53 watts, so, you know, moderately low. Um, also meaning that you can overclock. The CPU overclocks like a beast, even with the stock cooler. If you wanted to upgrade to like a Hyper 212 Evo or something as well, then you can overclock the CPU um, through the roof, you know, 4.5 gigahertz, do whatever like that, um, and be totally fine. And, you know, pair that with like an R7 260X, you know, the 2 gigabyte model. And that's that's an awesome budget build right there. So yeah, for the next CPU, the AMD FX6300, this is a 3.5 gigahertz to 4.1 gigahertz, again, base and boost clock CPU. It's six cores, um, it's a 95 watt TDP. Uh, this, this CPU is basically like the um, 8350, except a little bit cheaper and two less cores. Uh, the clock speed is a little bit lower, but again, the CPU overclocks very well. So if you want to throw a Hyper 212 Evo on this and boost it up just a little bit, then go right ahead. Um, yeah, not much more I could say. For the next CPU, I'm the Intel Core i7 4790K. This is a 4 to 4.4 gigahertz CPU with four cores with hyper threading. It's also got an 88 watt TDP, which yeah, is pretty low. I don't remember exactly what the previous gen, you know, Sandy Bridge CPUs were in, in terms of TDP. But yeah, good CPU overall. Um, if you do want, you can go with the 4770K and overclock it. I don't know. I don't know why this... This CPU, it's it's slightly overclocked from the 4770K. Um, it's just slightly better in all terms than the 4770K, and it's like, what, $40 more, something like that? So yeah, for the next CPU, I want the Intel Core i7 5930K. Now this is, the, this is a super high-end offering um, from Intel. This is their new Haswell E platform. You have to use DDR4 with this. This is the one downside. And DDR4 is pretty expensive and doesn't have any noticeable increases in performance anywhere as of right now. So, you know, the reason you buy this is just if you want to go balls to the wall and, you know, have an awesome rig. And yeah, it's a 3.5 gigahertz to 3.7 gigahertz CPU. It's got six cores with hyper threading and 140 watt TDP. 140 watts is pretty high for any CPU, but again, six cores with hyper threading, it's kind of expected. Um, you're not really going to be able to overclock the CPU with the stock cooler, obviously, or with um, a Hyper 212, really. A Hyper 212 would be nice if you're not going to overclock just to keep it cool under heavy loads, such as, you know, video editing or whatever. Um, if you really wanted to overclock this thing, you'd have to go with something expensive, you know, of course there are H100i or something like that. But yeah, good CPU cooler over, I mean, good CPU overall. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here. I post content every three days. Thanks for watching and peace.